In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SBBr5. This is antimony pentabromide. So the first thing we do with Lewis structures, we count the valence electrons. Sb, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A, that has five valence electrons. Bromine, group 17, sometimes called 7A, it has seven, five bromines. So five plus 35 gives us a total of 40 valence electrons for the SBBr5 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center of our Lewis structure, that's Sb, and then we'll put those five bromine atoms around it. Once we've done that, we'll put a pair of electrons between atoms, and that's going to form the chemical bond. We've used 10 valence electrons. Sb has more than eight. That's okay. It can have an expanded octet. Then we'll complete the octets on the bromine atoms here. So now each bromine has an octet, the central Sb, that has 10, but that's okay. We've used all 40 valence electrons. It might be clear if we replace these bonding electrons with lines. And that's our Lewis structure for SbBr5. Let's look at the molecular geometry. So we'll consider the purple atom in the center. That's our Sb. We have five bromine atoms. We add one, two. They spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Then we add four, and finally we'll put the last one on there, five. We end up with what's called trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry. So you can see the bond angle is there, 90 degrees. Here at the equator, the bond angles are 120 degrees. So we have our trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry. If you looked at the electron geometry, since there aren't any lone pairs, it would be the same. It'd be trigonal bipyramidal. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry. A, that's the central atom. X, the number of atoms bonded to the central atom, those five bromines. And then E, those are the lone pairs. We don't have any lone pairs bonded to the bromine. These are all bonds here, so we're going to call that zero. If you look up AX5, you'll find out that it's trigonal bipyramidal, just like we found before. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and molecular geometry for SBBr5. Thanks for watching.